Frog consists of two arrowheads. If you are going to take a look closely, the figure of a frog is composed of two arrowheads. One is its head while the other is its back portion. But this is the most important aspect about these two arrowheads. The arrowhead which is the head of the frog is pointing to a direction that is going upward. As for the other opposite arrowhead which is its back, it is pointing at a downward direction. This is best viewed at the side view angle of the marker. Since frogs do consist of two arrowheads, we often refer to them as double arrowheads with opposite directions. So one of its meanings is that there could be two separate treasure deposits. Or, it is also possible that there is only one treasure deposit hidden in one of the two directions indicated by the arrowheads. So in order for you to be able to identify the meaning of the frog marker that you found, it really needs additional markers around for confirmation. Distance of the arrowheads, one of the common questions being asked when it comes to the arrowheads of a frog marker, is about the distance T's first tackle the arrowhead, which is the head of the frog. Since this is an arrowhead that is pointing at an upward direction, it means that you need to travel a certain far distance. So what you have to do is to follow this direction and explore the far distance to find the next her succeeding mark S for the other arrowhead, which is the back portion of the frog marker, this one has a lot more interesting meaning. Since it is pointing at a downward direction, it means that the treasure deposit is somewhat near. So if this is the case then the item is commonly buried at the spot near the tip of the frog's butt. In some cases, the item can also be buried right under the frog marker itself. Overall, interpreting a frog marker is completely similar to the other signs, such as the X, heart, and etc., they need additional markers around before you can fully confirm their meaning about where you can exactly locate the hidden item. So when it comes to frog markers, my best advice for you is to explore your entire site and gather every possible signs around. Once you are able to gather them all, then that would be the time for you to interpret their meaning.